I'll tell you. I'll tell you a funny fucking story. This has got nothing to do with this, but uh, I, right, I had a mate at university, right, and um, there was this there was this girl who went to uni, right, and uh, she was like everyone had told all these rumors about her being like a real freak in the bedroom. You know, she was into all sorts, like anything went, and a couple of people claimed that you know been mega lucky, right. And 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 got to go back to her room, and you know she she had like this sex dungeon set up and all this, you know. Anyway, um, one of my mates he come back and he said, "Oh, you know, I can't say her name. Give me a fake girl's name." Leela. Terrible. Uh, so he said, "Oh, you know that <laughs> Leela? It's just a terrible name, isn't it? But whatever. I'll, we'll do the story with that name. Um, you know that fucking Lily? Yeah, she's she's a fucking. <laughs> it's it, it's all true, but it's all true. I've got a fucking story for you, right? All right, I said, Dan, all right then. And uh, my mate Steve <laughs> is telling me like you, you you know they had a few drinks and they went back to her room and she had this like key on a chain round her neck, right? And she opened up this little chest and it was just full of sex toys like just <laughs> everything you could want in it so you know he's they're going at it hammer and tongs and fucking he's using dildos on and all that and then um you know them beads you put up your ass yeah right so she says oh i've got i want you to put these beads in right and what you're supposed to do is at the point of orgasm you know you take them out and uh, it's meant to heighten the orgasm yeah right You've heard of these beads? I didn't know that's what they were for. I thought they were just for general pleasure, but yeah. Nah, no, I mean, you can be, but basically, you know, what you're supposed to do is as you're fucking somebody, you know, and the guys or girls, right, as you come, you take them out, and because it's like they're ribbed and it's coming out your arsehole, it's already... It's already <laughs> All the it's good over. feelings at once. Yeah. I'm having a shit yeah, out coming. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in heaven already. Yeah. Your arsehole's already having a bit of a quiver, so it's... Oh. Sweet, giving you a blumpkin. Yeah, exactly, basically, right? But uh, anyway, my mate Stephen, he never used any of them before, right? So he was he was like doing her uh, from behind, and the beads were in, and he went. And the thing is, Rich, I never used one of these <laughs> before. So when she said, "Oh, take take them out, take out the beads," I leant over, and uh, it was like I was starting a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why did he rip? Because he thought that's what he was supposed to do. It. <laughs> 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 so he said, "Start the chain, Sally." <laughs> when you say rip. when he says that, it makes me think it didn't work first time. Like you're pulling his teeth. Go a couple more revs on his cunt. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, let's just fucking, without putting too fine a point on it, let's just say her, her ass wasn't prepared for that level of force. <laughs> and things got pretty fucking messy and horrible, and he was instantly asked to leave. Like, <laughs> just, uh, just as a word of advice, like, be gentle with those fucking love beads, mate.